Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be how to make a French Bulldog um, welcome box. So as you can see, I've got three French Bulldogs here. My partner's a registered Bulldog breeder and this is the second litter. That's the, the bitch that's got nine pups. Yeah, nine puppies. Um, so this is dad, that's mum and that's the daughter from the first litter. So this is the second litter. We kept one of the pups, we kept a bitch from the first litter, and that's this little one here. Uh, yep, so this is Mama, she's due in seven to eight days um, time, so about time I started knocking up a whelping box. So this is everything that I've bought, all up it was $108. So I've got the 16 mil MDF base, which is 1200 by 900. Just, I've gone with the Malamine because it's easy to wipe clean on the sides and I'll explain what I'm doing for the base in a minute. So I've got the 300 by 1200, that's enough for the sides. And then for the pig rails, I've got the 40mm um, by a metre PVC pipe with the corners. And what I've done is, for the base I wanted it to be, um, wanted it to be soft because the last time when I made a box, I just had a, a, an MDF base and it's quite hard on it. She didn't really enjoy lying down on it. As much as we put um, towels and pillars in there, it's still quite hard. So what I did is, I got this from Kmart, it's just a fitness mat, it's quite cheap. I'm gonna roll that out, stick it down onto the top of here. And then I've got this stuff, which is called Polyweave. It's basically like a really hard wearing, it's sort of like a tarp, it's waterproof. It's what we use in construction to cover um, our clients' carpets when you do fit outs. So, um, this is really strong, like I say, waterproof and you can wipe clean. So I'll stick the foam onto the base. This will go over, wrap over it. And then I've got a couple of hinges and a little um, shoot bolt for a door. So I'll cut this out with a jigsaw and make a little um, door so she can walk in and out of. So yeah, let's crack on. Alright guys, I'm just going to trim this sheet down because this is 900 by 1200 and my pipe's only a metre. So I've just put the ends on and then hook to tape on the end of there. 1130, so I'll put this 1200 down to 1130. Otherwise my pipe won't fit. So what I'm going to do for stick this down, I'm just going to use um, PVA, just spread a bit of that down and then stick this on. make your cut if you start your cut through the edging and don't finish that way out because as you cut out it'll spout the edging off so if you start your cut into the edging it won't spout the end off because obviously that's going to be the top um, the edges I've got some um, white iron on edging I've not got it with me but I shall put some of that on the ends on the end grains afterwards
Right guys, so there she is, all done. One pretty large welcoming box. Pig rails are in. Like I say, it's pretty easy. You can take them, take them out after a couple of weeks when you don't need them. And there's no brackets on the inside, like any sharp brackets that can catch the, the pumps on. Nice and soft on the base, easily wiped clean. Sides are nice and easy to wipe clean. Like I say, nice little door. Just to lock them in when you're at home. Yeah, that's it. So I'll take it inside, see what she thinks. Let her get used to it because she started sort of nesting a little bit the last few nights. So we'll um, let her get a scent in here, chuck some blankets in for her, see how she likes it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you found this enjoyable or you got some ideas and you wanted to follow along and build your own welcoming box for your pups. Um, I'd say 108 Australian dollars it cost me. Any comments you've got or about anything I've done, just leave them in the bottom. And I'll also leave um, a list of all the power tools and hand tools that I've used to make this in the description in the bottom. So if you want to check that out, see what tools you need if you want to make your own. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, don't forget, please subscribe if you um, just found my channel. I've got heaps of stuff doing like a household DIY and a lot of automotive projects. So yeah, check the channel out, see what you think, and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like it. Cheers, see you on another one, guys.